Welcome to the movie. I am James. My name is Blaze. Welcome to the show where we pick the next hit and tell you why this needs to be the next big movie we see from Hollywood. What do I want to see? It's a show that we all love. The big comfy couch. Yeah, the big comfy couch with the red pill in the middle. Where's Molly or Dolly? Is that their name? It's Do- It's uh, Molly. You're, Molly. You're correct. Gotcha. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Dolly because she's a doll. Uh-huh. Uh, zing. <laughs> yeah. uh, the Office. That is one of my favorite shows ever. No, mm-hmm. I do not want to see a movie, though. What? <laughs> what is movie? Do office? I, what's I want to make a super meta movie with The Office. What is the movie Shoots within Farms. the movie? No. Oh, the creating a documentary of The Office. No, Threat oh, Level oh, Midnight. Shit. I want to see a live action movie that's super meta, but actually well done. We don't need the explanation, but I just want to imagine what if a studio got a hold of Michael Scott's very shitty homemade terrible movie. And they're like, you know what? I'm going to give you the budget Check, please. to make this movie. I want to see it happen. But I want to see you guys still in the roles and everything. Uh-huh. So let's see that happen. Well, so they're playing characters that are acting in Mike Scott's movie? They're just playing themselves, but essentially, yeah, they're playing the characters that Michael had written for them, yeah. essentially. And there was the episode in, I think, season seven. It was, Mike, or it was uh, Steve Carell's final season where they actually made a live-action version. And it's very terrible. And like it's very like cheap and nodding to the camera, like, haha, like this is fun and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I actually want to see that movie made into a real-life big budget budget movie and you can make a franchise so out of it how would the actual how would it go down where like in the world of the office who found michael scott's script do we all have our copy of threat level midnight by michael scott like bob Iger? are we talking like found the script and was like oh we got to make this in the movie. like is it like realistic yeah. in that sense where that it's going to become a real big budget movie and a studio had actually found the script at threat level midnight because Dwight posted it on the blacklist or something. Like, see, I want this all to be the fan theories of it. I just want to see at randomly in a tra- like you're just at the movies, you see a trailer, and the next big action movie that like is a spy thriller is Threat Level Midnight. There's it's all the original Office cast members. It's called Threat Level oh, Midnight. Sn- Michael <laughs> Scarn. But like, there's nothing to it. You're like, wait, what the hell? Is that like a movie within a movie? Is this like an Office movie? But they're just showing threat level midnight scenes. No, it's just a movie without any explanation, just threat level midnight. <laughs> this is never going to happen because yeah. of that, but that would be hilarious if you're just, yeah. you're watching Mission Impossible, yeah. Fallout, Operation Fallout, whatever yeah. it's called, Fallout 76 or uh-huh. something. And then you just see this trailer for a movie starring Michael Scar. Wait, Michael Scott? Michael Scar. So the trailer would actually act as if it's not Steve Carell. It will say, or Michael Scott is Michael Scar okay. in Threat Level Midnight. John Krasinski as Golden Face. And, what uh, would be Jim uh, Halper, right? Jim Halper? Yeah. But, oh, yeah. Jim Halper. You're right. You're right. Correct. Yeah. Um, I forget who plays Catherine Zeta Jones, but I remember she died. The plot of the movie within the show is that uh, Michael Scarn is a retired ex-CIA agent and his wife, Catherine Zeta-Jones, is murdered by Golden Face and the president needs, uh, the president of the United States needs Michael Scarn to stop him from blowing up the NHL Stanley Cup. <laughs> so <laughs> Michael he Scar- loves hockey. Yeah, so Michael Scarn has to pose as an NHL player and he kills Oscar within the show who's playing like just a normal big hockey player and he kills him to make become the new hockey player to go undercover but then he gets double cross and that's the plot of the movie i need to almost watch those episodes again i remember there's an episode where they read the script that's season two i believe that's like the one that started everything yeah yeah i need to go back and also watch where there's those live action clips that was that looks like sweeted right yeah it's very sweet and like it's a nod to the audience it's supposed to be funny it was a cool fan favorite episode Mm -hmm. um but I just like to see an actual like legit movie with that story. But I think like even though it sounds ridiculous and like who would go for this, I just think it would be super meta and people I would hope people would understand. But then again, when you read YouTube comments, and you're like, oh, my God, like it's not that hard to understand, guys. Oh, I love YouTube comments. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, not like on our videos. Our videos is fine, but I, I love when it's on like just a popular video and there's just mm-hmm. always somebody there that's just like. You know, 
got a lot of heart i guess you mm-hmm. could say that's that's another way to put it right you see it in a lot of trailers as well too just like people don't understand like the dark humor of a movie sometimes and, or just basic concepts yeah. Of yeah. like not even about movies just like basic concepts of life right <laughs> So The Office is huge. Whether you watch it live on TV back when it was first airing or you just caught up with it on Netflix, it still has a huge fan base. And Mm -hmm. I mean, do you think this would do well, like in today's audience? I think that there are certain shows that Netflix made really popular (laughs) after the fact that maybe the show was done airing or was still airing. I think Breaking Bad is one of them. I think The Office is also one of them. And I would maybe even say Sons of Anarchy. I can see possibly that. Yeah. could be one. Uh, Walking Dead also. People like wait for that to come on Netflix. But The Office definitely had like resurgence with uh, Netflix, and also like people watch The Office because it's like on Netflix now. Like people even started like, oh, there's like ten seasons or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'll go check it out on Netflix. So I think that this could be super successful, mm-hmm. and. I mean, maybe do it on a low budget. Maybe not do it on, you know, some crazy. Right. Do do this like five million, something small. Mm-hmm. But like, maybe you can't do five million actually with all those actors. Now right. thinking about where they're <laughs> at in their careers now, that might be kind of difficult. Here's my thought process with it. Steve Carell left the office to do movies. And mm-hmm. there's all this talk about reunions and everything. John Krasinski and Jenna Fisher have come out in the last year saying like, oh, if there's ever a reunion, like there are rumors currently. They said they want to be a part of it. They be yes. part of it right away they haven't been hit up by nbc just yet but they said they are completely down and i think this is a great way to get steve carell back by doing a movie version and maybe if we are going to get a reboot with different characters in a tv show because mm-hmm. essentially the office is a concept it's yeah. like the characters were amazing when steve carell left to lose its steam but it was still a concept essentially and you can still use that concept with the reboot yeah. but with this though i think it would be a great like transition into a new version but we get the reboot that we'd always want to see with michael scott being back Mm -hmm. i would also like to see i mean if you're not going to do a big movie like this or you're going to do some do like a made for tv movie or a or a documentary Mm -hmm. like kind of what they've done with the uk office where they've like continued that on netflix Mm -hmm. and netflix has been in charge of that so maybe if we did something along the lines of that for for the american remake i mean if you haven't checked out the american office it's definitely worth a watch it's not really similar to the english office Mm -hmm. but it's like special in its own it has like its own little like special sentimental values that you don't really necessarily get from the english office although it is also super funny right but yeah i have one thing i liked also about the final episode i remember was that bbc documentary like Mm -hmm. uh, that's what it all was like the film crew was always part of bbc oh no it was pbs that's who it was and uh, so they were shooting a feature length documentary when it finally aired. It had this huge audience within the show. But I'd actually love to see a 90 minute documentary of what yeah. that would have looked like, essentially. So that'd be a cool concept, like a little spin off thing as well. Special features for Threat Level Midnight or something. Definitely. Uh, director wise, that was something I thought about. Because if you look at the list of directors who have done The Office, it's huge. J.J. Abrams directed an episode. Uh, what's it called? The, I think I missed that one. Yeah, oh. The lens flares must have not been so obvious. <laughs> uh, what's it called? He did the episode. I was like just looking up. He did the episode where like Roy says, I'm going to kill Jim Halpert and stuff. That was like the first serious episode of Officer. Uh-huh. Like, oh, damn. This is intense. I do um, this. <laughs> Josh Whedon has directed an episode. I don't remember which one, but a lot of actors also have directed it. And who is the actor on the show that has just a huge career right now after or his huge Creed Brian. Uh, who? Oh, Creed I Brian. wish. Yeah. He actually, I think I did see he directed like two episodes. I feel like he probably did. Yeah. But John Krasinski directed three episodes of The Office. He had biggest hit of the year so far. Not like biggest like box office hit, but like, you know, uh, budget to profit. Like, yeah. It was, I think, the biggest hit of 2018 so far uh, with A Quiet Place. So, you know, let him direct this movie. I don't know if he'd be interested, though. Yeah. I think he'd be the perfect pick, but I don't think he'd want to pigeonhole his career. Like, although it wouldn't pigeonhole him for me, but like, we already know he's done great yeah. things. But I feel like a lot of studio executives are like, oh, he's that office guy. Yeah, that's like, you true, know, it's yeah. like it's like a business move that's yeah. probably not good for him to take, mm-hmm. but he, it, it makes no sense. It should be. Right. It should be perfect for yeah. him because it, it's like a love letter to the beginning of his career, essentially. Yeah. And like all the great things that have come after that. So. Right. But he's going to be in Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. So yeah. we'll never see him again. It seems like he's going to be locked in for that show. <laughs> Cue the music. Cue the music. <laughs> so like the, the that was the trailer that you could not avoid during the World yeah. Cup. 
So that's it for Threat Level Midnight. I want to see Michael Scott back as Michael Scarn. And do you? I know you do. Let us know in the comments, though. Check in next week to see what we're going to do for the movie. Subscribe till then.